Hey guys, so there's gonna be a quick little announcement, um, just like the schedule for my channel and when my videos should be expected. Um, so, um, weekends, um, usually I'm not like saying there's gonna be any videos for sure on the weekends, but maybe, um, don't fully expect them, but don't not expect them. So, yeah, they're just gonna be maybe Mondays I'll try to make a video, um, Tuesdays I'll try to make a video. And Wednesdays, I'll try. I don't know if I can Wednesdays, but I'll try on Wednesdays. And then, um, possibly Thursday and Friday, but most likely Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are going to be my three days that I do them. So, just getting that, that out of the way. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be taking a look at, um, as you probably can already see, the number one in the line. It's the 8-bit Batman. And this guy was released, um, for the fall convention. Uh, New York Comic Con, I'm pretty sure, uh, for 2017. It's an exclusive. I got him at GameStop in Boston, um, along with some other guys over there that I went over in one of my last videos. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at him, take a look at the box, um, you see him, some kind of box right there, and you see the little fig, the pop in the, the window style packaging, and you see the sticker, and you see Batman, you see number one, sort of 8 bit lettering and style. On the back, you see that same 8 bit lettering and style. Um, you kind of see that throughout the whole the box, and then you see him peeking up there on the top. You see him peeking, Iron Man stuff on the back. Um, I really like the back. I think it's pretty cool. Um, kind of with the it pop, um, the Hot Topic exclusive, how it has like some like special art since this is the only one in line so far. Um, yeah, it kind of has Batman in Gotham with the bat signal up there. It's sort of like in a cave type. Um, surrounding um with all 8-bit stuff and i think that's just really cool um so yeah let's see on the side um there he is um let's see he's batman number one so yeah um there's the look at the packaging now let's take a look at the pop all right so here we have the 8-bit batman out of the packaging and i have to say i really do like this pop um he just has some really cool detailing he's just so unique and different than other, any other pops you have before this is the first in the line, so it's one of the first 8-bit pops. Um, I know there's some exclusives for um, some kind of Comic-Con thing, but um, yeah, I did not get the Shredder, which um, I was going to, but then just never happened. So uh, yeah, that was also an 8-bit one. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at him. Um, I really do like him. One of the only problems is, um, it kind of moves like it falls, so that's because like the cape and stuff is kind of like weighs a lot in the back, probably, um, but yeah, that, um, that's not really a big deal, and also, I'm not sure if it's in the 8-bit line, um, that the heads don't move, or it's just stuck, but yeah, my head, the head isn't really moving, which normal pop figures have that, um, but yeah, so let's just get into the details, so see the eyes are pretty cool, <clears throat> excuse me, um, see it has, it's not just like painted on, it has like sort of like texture to it. Looks good. And you see the nose. Looks pretty good. Let's see over there where its mouth would be. Just the detail and all the 8-bit stuff is just I think it's super cool. You see the ears point up. It's detail on the head. It's more details over there. It's a really nice vibrant blue too. Like if you see this in person, I don't know if it comes um, across on camera. It's just it's a, it's a cool blue I think. <clears throat> see on the chest looks good okay there's kind of like a shadow there here let me try something all right so i just turned the flashlight on so you could see it better and more color and stuff because before there was kind of the shadow and glare and stuff um so yeah looking at the bat signal it looks good see all the eight bits and the details and stuff and it looks really good um also you can sort of see like that blue with the light on it yeah, so then you see the belt, it's good, and has all the details, like the different separate pouches. See all the pixels and all the, the colors, the blue and gray. See where his, like, little knife thingies, if you know what I mean, on the back of his gauntlets. Shoulders, and see where the, the cape kind of drapes in front, or when he puts it on, you know. And it comes across into the back. And the cape in the back's really detailed. Sort of reminds me of the Batman Arkham Knight cape. The lines on it. I mean, from the game, but also in the pop. I don't have that pop yet. But I'm going to get it, probably. 
and see it drip down. Bottom of the feet look good, and see the belt in the back too, so that's good. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, there's the the details. So yeah, thanks for watching my review. Hope you like the video and all that stuff. If you see this pop and you're thinking about getting it, then I um, suggest that you get it because it's not really easy to find anymore since you know it was uh, exclusive and now um, you know it's like a month after I think it was released. But yeah, I still see them every now and then when I go to GameStops, but not that much anymore. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what kind of videos you like to see from me. Is it toy hunts? Is it like hauls, figure reviews, pop reviews? So yeah, um, hopefully you do that. And make sure you check out my giveaway video, which is going to be talking about the Uncharted 4 Nathan Drake Target exclusive pop, which I am giving away. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next review.